to you about fabric softener and curly hair, okay? I was on Instagram and I was minding my own business you know, I was just scrolling down and I saw that someone was using fabric softener on their natural hair, on their curly hair, on the hair that grows out of their scalp. And I've seen it before being done on fake hair, like weaves and wigs, you know, rinse with fabric softener, it's supposed to like bring it back to life. But I've never seen it or anyone talk about doing it on their actual hair. So I was like, okay, I need to make a video on this before this becomes an actual trend. So here's the thing. Now, for our hair, the reason why people are using fabric softener for their hair or thinking about using it on their natural hair is because fabric softener contains cationic surfactants. Now, these cationic surfactants are also in our hair conditioner. I feel like what's happening is that there are a lot of DIYers that are looking for other alternatives other than hair conditioners and hair shampoos and things of that nature, and they're crossing into other chemical industries which can be kind of dangerous. As a cosmetic chemist, there are certain raw materials and chemicals that we have to use. Like if I was, if someone was making like paint, you know, like formulating paint, I'm not gonna use what the guy used for shine, like to make the paint shiny on the walls and put that in a conditioner to make the hair shiny. I'm not gonna do that because totally different toxicology, totally different chemicals. I'm not gonna cross industries like that. So the same thing with fabric softener. Even though there are cationic surfactants in it, there are certain other ingredients in the fabric softener that should not be used in our hair, number one. Some brand, depending on the brand, there's hydrochloric acid inside fabric softener, and that's used to modify the pH, to bring it down to an acidic level. Even though it's you know a pH modifier, I still would not use anything that has hydrochloric acid because that is a pretty strong acid alone by itself. Secondly, the preservative, okay, that are in fabric softener, depending on the brand, can be very irritating to the skin. The one that comes to mind is called Benz Isothiazolinone, okay? Now that is a mouthful, but if you apply that to your skin, it can really irritate the skin. So imagine getting something like this on your scalp, and now that I'm thinking about it, there was someone who commented on the person's post and they said, hey, I tried this and my scalp was on fire. So, yeah. Honestly, guys, we have so many other alternatives that are on the market already that have great cationic surfactants such as Centrimonium Chloride, Behendrimonium Methyl Sulfate, Behendrimonium Chloride. These are all designed for our hair. We don't have to cross over to the laundry industry to get conditioned or softened hair, okay? So, I hope this video has been super helpful. I wanted to put that out there. Uh, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. It's just too risky. You know, just don't, don't go, don't do it, y'all. Don't, don't do it. Don't even do it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this super quick video. Thank you so much for subscribing and commenting. Follow me on Instagram and my Insta stories and all that. So, thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right? Bye. Hey, before you leave, don't forget to sign up for my curl-friendly website that's launching soon.